G'day guys, how you going? I'm in an area today that has absolutely been flogged, and I mean flogged. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of old detector holes. Just showing you some on the screen now. Just holes everywhere. So I've got my hands on a 7,000 again this year. What I want to do today is I want to do a bit of an experiment, or just a bit of a test comparison, more to the point between the 7000 and the evolution call on the 5000 because there's so many holes here it means pretty well all the easy gold's gone which means it's going to take a fair bit of effort a lot of concentration and some great equipment to hear those faint signals so what i've done is i've i've walked around and i've identified five targets now all these different targets vary in signal strength some very very hard to hear and i'm even getting a classic z warble on one of them at least anyway so this is an ideal place really the only gold that's going to be left here is the stuff that's hard to hear and that's where the 7000 really comes into it Yeah, just a faint whisper. Not much to that one at all. Yeah, that's hearing that quite easily. Now, bear in mind, that was the faintest of all those targets. Bit more than a whisper, a little bit easier to hear that one. This one was a bit louder on the 7000, but the uh, Evolution call seems to be struggling a little bit on this one. It's there. I think this one might have been the Z Warble. Oh yeah, listen to that. Classic Z Warble. I actually had to move a couple of inches with my boot to make sure it was a signal so it was even fainter before when I got it. Oh yeah, easily. Okay, so there's the original top level there. Just a murmur, just a murmur. If I put it down. Yeah, that's picking it up easily. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, you can hear it coming through. It's not a defined signal. I like to get a nice, well-defined signal. Yeah, probably one of the easiest out of the whole lot.
Yeah, it's uh, fairly faint, but you can hear it. It's not a well-defined signal. A lot easier to hear that one on the 7000. So there you go. So five targets found in an area that's been absolutely flogged with the 7000. Let's go and dig them up and see what we got. As I said, very faint signal. Interestingly enough, that's now turning into a Z warble. That is interesting. That means it's fairly chunky. Getting a nice warble coming in here. I'm going to have to dig deep. Goodness me. I no wonder it was such a soft signal. Well, I've just dug down a foot and uh, finally got it out. That was that tiny little faint signal. And that's quite a good signal now. Here we go. It's chunky. But that accounts for the Z warble because it's just a real chunky little slug. Could be about a gram. There you go, that's number one, that's the first signal. Fairly faint. Getting held a bit deeper first off this time. That last one surprised me. Goodness me, I thought it was only shallow bloke. Yeah, this bloke's not too far away. I'd say around about three or four inches. Got him. Got him first scoop. He's small, very small. Yeah, probably about 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, tiny little fella. This was the Z warble signal. Dug out about just over half a foot. Still getting that classic Z warble. I'm gonna have to dig deeper. Coming through a lot louder now. I'm just over half a foot. And I'm almost on bedrock, so surely, unless he's in the cap, I should have him by now. And it's a hammer and chisel job. Oh, you're kidding me. I've tried to scrape out some more dirt, and I'm on bedrock, and I'm getting a beautiful signal there. I just don't know how far I've got to go down with a hammer and chisel, but I've run out of time today. I'll have to come back tomorrow and do it and uh, we'll see what it is. I've decided to go and get the uh, 5000 and put the little Sadie coil on it because nothing quite has the pinpointing ability of a Sadie coil and listen to this target now. <coughs> Yeah, so that's a, that's a nice bit of gold in there. It's quite a strong signal. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to have to get the old uh, hammer and chisel out again and keep at it. I've just managed to get the chisel right down in there and I've pulled up a couple of chunks. Surely that's got it. We'll find out. Yep, that's got it. Right, hey. I think it's in this one. Rightio, so I've 
broken it down from this big piece down to a couple of small fragments and I think this is the offending object yeah that's a nice piece of gold that's well well over half a gram at least anyway so that little bloke there was making all that noise so there you go that was the third target remember that started with the classic Z warble and yeah that's consistent because that's a chunky piece of gold so that's why I got the warble on the Z Faint little signal. Take a couple of inches off to start. Just in case, one of those big ones again. I tell you, this bloke's been trying to get away the whole time. You're not getting away. You little mongrel, where are you? And there he is. Oh, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, tiny little fella, really shiny though, hard to get, he didn't want to come out of the ground. Quite a faint little target that one. Goodness me, that, <laughs> that would be, that'd be 0.05 if I'm lucky, that's ridiculous, that's target number five. And they've come to 2.04 grams. So that's two grams I picked up in an absolutely smashed area, flogged area. They weren't the only ones I picked up in that area yesterday. I picked up another three grams. So five grams in an absolutely flogged area with the right equipment and the right technique. Go really low, really slow, and you'll just keep finding more gold. Thanks for watching.